What are you doing, Oliver? You want me to throw your squirrel? Is that what you want? This dead squirrel? Okay, give it to me. One quick throw before I record. Give it to me. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, bye. Good morning guys, today is Thursday, January 19th. I actually wanted to vlog on Monday the 16th because it was the first day of my diet bet and um, like I would just want to weigh in with you and show you how my first day went but what ended up happening was I stepped on the scale and although I expected to see a weight gain, um, I did not expect to see what I saw. was 194.8 pounds and I was it it was like a slap in the face it, it hit me so hard I was so shocked um I had like even though I knew I gained weight I just didn't expect that much since I was on track for the last two weeks so I thought I had canceled out some of that gain and it seems like it didn't I don't know I was just so shocked and it quickly went from like me being so positive and excited to film that day and start my diet bet to just so much anger and um, upset and stressed and I stopped filming and I was gloomy. I had a little pity party and whatever. Um, but then I snapped out of it. I submitted my weight for the diet bet. I posted on Instagram what my current weight is. And I was like, okay, I can sit here and be depressed. Because really what I want to do when I feel depressed and disappointed is just get into bed, put the covers over my head, and just wallow. Um, but I know that if I do that, then 195 pounds will soon be 200 and 210 and 250 and 300 and that won't be good. So as much as like I felt so upset and so down about it, I was like, Jen, you cannot get back into this depression. You just, you're just like a few weeks out of it. You're finally feeling somewhat better. So don't go backwards. So yeah. Um, so I went, I had a good workout, and those endorphins really helped to get me out of that. And um, I ate well. I also decided to go to the mall just to walk around because when I work from home, I kind of just sit on the couch on my computer. And um, I wanted to stay active and just get out of my head and not let... I didn't want to think about the 195. So I went to the mall. I walked around. Um... There's lots of tempting snacks and food at the mall, like from the food court, from like chocolate and ice cream stores and all these things. So I wanted something to just like say that I got something. So I went to a smoothie place and I got kale, spinach and pineapple smoothie. And I often forget that healthy food is just as delicious, just as exciting as junk food. Like we all love junk food, especially the more you eat junk food, the more you crave it because it's like an addiction. But and like once you get more healthy days in a row then you crave junk food less and you crave healthy food more i'm still in the stage where i'm craving junk food so um i it's so easy for me to give in and uh, get junk food so i got the smoothie and it was delicious and i felt so satisfied and it was actually more satisfying the junk than the junk food because junk food comes with guilt and as you're eating it you're like it's so good but oh my god i shouldn't be eating this or oh my god now what am i gonna weigh oh my god so drinking that smoothie which was so tasty there's no guilt attached to it you're actually feeling so proud of yourself and so good and you feel so healthy because you know that it's packed with nutrients that are nourishing your body so yeah that was good um yeah and then so the last couple of days so tuesday and wednesday were both decent days um i didn't work out at the gym both those days but tuesday i did a home workout and wednesday i cleaned the house which burn lots of calories so it was good food wise it was good um the only thing was last night i went to my mom's house for dinner and she had pierogies which are delicious um if i was the type of person to be able to have like three four pierogies and then the rest all salad then 
no problem. They're not that bad. But I can't just have a few. I, I'm the type of person who just wants like a plateful. I want to eat until I'm severely full. Um, yeah, and that's my that's part of my food addiction is that I don't just eat until my hunger stops. I want to eat until I'm full. And that's way too many calories if you eat until you're full. So I was kind of frustrated. I was kind of like annoyed with myself last night because it was like two things. One, I was annoyed that I was going to binge, scared that I was going to binge and upset that. Why do I have to be afraid that I'm going to binge? And then the other part of me was, but why can't I binge? Why can't I just eat what I want? Why can't I just continue to eat until I'm satisfied and done? Like, yeah. So it's frustrating. And then obviously I'm an idiot and I stepped on the scale just to see what that did to me and it shows two pounds up. And I get even more frustrated because I'm like, I'm on a diet bed. I want to be losing weight. I want to be going in the other direction. I want to cancel out all this weight gain. And yet I'm making decisions that are making it worse and I'm such a self-sabotager, whatever. But I don't know, I'm just, I'm really trying to stay positive really trying to stay in a good mind frame because I have been like the last two weeks I've been good it's been getting better and better and better and I don't want these little things to uh, derail me I want to stay focused I want to um, get back to the way things were not not the way things were like life is different but what I mean is with how consistent I was the first two years this this third year of my journey has been obviously the most difficult um really struggling to stay consistent whereas the first two years that's what I was was consistent and even though I didn't uh, lose huge chunks of weight at a time it was slow and steady it was consistent and that's what I like uh, yeah so that's what I gotta do um so the last few days have been pretty busy especially yesterday was pretty busy and I'm feeling a little bit lazy today like I just want to be lazy so I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to like go sit down on the couch, watch The Bachelor, watch, um, I started The Fall on Netflix. I want to watch a few episodes of that. I just want to be lazy. And then after lunch, I'm going to go to the gym. Now, if I wasn't vlogging, I would probably say to myself, I just want to be lazy for a few hours and then I'll go to the gym in the afternoon, but then I'll never get to the gym because the laziness will just continue. You never want to stop what you're doing, which is being lazy. So by vlogging and saying I'm getting to the gym in the afternoon, that will keep me accountable and I'll be able to stick to that because, yeah, I'll feel stupid if I don't. So, yeah, I had, what did I have for breakfast? I had Raisin Bran with Jim before he left for work. I used to hate Raisin Bran when I was a kid. Like, I thought it was disgusting and it's funny how your taste buds change and, yeah, I enjoy healthy food a little bit more. So I had Raisin Bran and now I'm just chugging water. I love like putting my water in a mason jar with a straw when I'm home. When I'm, when I'm out, I use my like water bottle or when I'm working out, but when I'm just home, I love a mason jar. I don't know, I feel so cool with that. So I think I'm just gonna make some tea now and just go be lazy for a few hours, catch up on my shows and um, yeah and then eat lunch and go work out. I'll just keep you posted with anything new uh, for my day. And that's where I'm at, guys. That's where I'm at. So I bought a Brita the other day and um, I got it from Costco. I always just drank tap water because the tap water here tastes fine, but some people say that tap water is good for you. Some people say it's not good for you. So I don't know. And I don't like the water bottles that have like that thin plastic. I don't know. I don't like it. So I just got a Brita and it seems good. And I just keep filling up my water. It seems like smoother and tastier. I don't know if that's just in my head because I paid for it. <laughs> so hopefully it's actually doing something and it's healthier. I'm trying to watch The Fall on Netflix and Oliver just is only interested in this toy but I keep forgetting to throw it to him <laughs> I keep forgetting to throw it because I'm so engrossed in this show it's like it's honestly so good um, but I feel conflicted watching it to be honest because most shows will um, it will tell the, the story from one point of view or the other like either the side of the law 
like Criminal Minds, CSI, things like that. Or it'll show you from the point of view of the criminal, like Dexter or Breaking Bad. And you know, like you clearly know who to root for while you're watching. But this show tells the story from both points of view. So in one scene, you're rooting for the police because they're good and you want them to do their job and they're getting closer and you're excited. But then in the next scene, you're rooting for the criminal because he's so freaking cute and you understand why he's killing and you're like, do it, get away. And yeah, so it's so confusing and really plays with your emotions, I think. But it's a really good show. Let me know if you watch it and what you think about it. And they're from Ireland, so I really enjoy the accents and stuff like that. Buddy, I can't, I can't pet you now. All you care about is this toy. I'm just a toy thrower for you. Are you kidding me? Rude. Guys, I forgot to film before I started eating, and now I've made a huge mess, and this does not look appetizing at all, but... It's delicious, I promise you. My mom made these cabbage rolls, and um, this one is still kind of together. But on the inside, it's basically um, some meat, rice, and veggies with sauce. And she sprinkled a little bit of cheese on the top. But yeah, it's so good. And I wish I would have showed you before I mangled it. And obviously, there's Oliver thinking he's going to get some because he... At least he doesn't like like jump into my plate or beg or bark or cry. At least he just sits there. But <laughs> dude, dude, you're not getting this. It's mine. Anyways. Mmm. So good. Thanks, mom. So I'm still kind of hungry, even though I had lunch. Um, so I just washed and cut up some veggies. I have cucumber and cauliflower, and I'm going to dip it in some hummus. I also have a coconut water and I think this is a nice little afternoon snack without taking up too many calories because I want to save uh, most of my calories for dinner and of course Oliver thinks he's getting some actually you know what I'll give him some is that good yeah you rather have chips you rather have pizza but it's good for you. It's good for you. If you don't want it, I'll take it back. You're gonna come around to it. <laughs> you gonna eat it or what? Let's get this going. Mmm, what's better than hummus on some veggies? So tasty. You're not getting any more, dude. Mmm. Okay, so I got to the gym, and it's empty, which is great, because um, I'm feeling so frumpy today. I When I gain weight, I just want to hide in oversized clothes. So I'm wearing, like, a huge t-shirt that, like, I wear to bed, and um, so not cute. I don't even feel like taking my Instagram picture, which I usually take for when I work out to post my workouts on there. And I don't feel that at all. Maybe I'll take like a face picture only. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do probably 20, 30 minutes of dumbbells and then probably 30, 40 minutes of cardio, whether it be treadmill, Stairmaster, elliptical. I'm not really sure until like I'm done my weights. Sometimes I even like break it up, do like 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, or something like that. So, yeah. Guys, I'm missing my confidence. When I lost the 80 pounds, like, that was the best thing. When you guys asked, like, what's the best part about losing weight? You know, feeling confident and feeling comfortable in your skin. That was the best thing. And even just these, like, 20 pounds, um, even though I'm nowhere near my start weight, it still totally strips you of that confidence and the comfort. Like, this bloatedness makes me feel so uncomfortable in my skin. Uh, so I really got to focus and get this off and stop procrastinating with the camera and just get to my workout. I am sweating up a storm. I'm starting to feel better now that 
I'm sweating and the endorphins are kicking in. I always dread starting a workout. I never have any interest, but I know that once I do start like halfway through, by the end, I feel amazing and my spirits are lifted, my energy levels are lifted. So it's always worth it, no matter what. I gotta keep telling myself that. I'm also thinking about my next meal. I'm already planning dinner in my mind. So I'm just cooling down. I have a couple minutes to cool down. Um, my diet bet reached 428 players, almost $13,000. And I'll probably pass 13,000 because people can still join for the next little while. Um, yeah, I'm just looking through. These are all the prizes that I'm giving away for this game. And um, you remember my snack for today? But yeah, I'm just looking through it. I'm reading up on everybody's workouts, their snacks, their meals, uh, they've shared recipes. So I'm reading up, responding, answering people's concerns and struggles. And I've already made some really nice connections. It's been really, really good, really good game. I'm surprised like this quickly. These were the progies from last night. They were friggin' delicious, but I ate too many and now I feel bloated. So yeah, yeah, I'm just have another minute to cool down and I'm gonna head upstairs and shower. Mmm, that looks good. So I cut up some potatoes, broccoli, and zucchini, drizzled a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and rosemary. And I'm gonna put this into the oven now. Oh, this is heavy. There we go. And I just have my uh, grill preheating now uh, to put on the chicken. Okay, so dinner is ready. We have um, the grilled chicken that I cut up in pieces, a half an avocado, some roasted potatoes, the roasted zucchini, and broccoli. And it's all ready. I gave Jim his. Are you enjoying it? I am. It's very good. Good. And obviously, I can't <laughs> join him right away because I had to take pictures. And I'm still not satisfied with the picture, but who cares? I'm hungry, and one of them will have to do. I'm going to come and join you. Da, 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 da. Can we watch the fall? Jim likes Jim likes anime, so he always catches up when I'm busy doing stuff. Ollie, you're not getting anybody. You already had a cucumber today. That was your human food. <laughs> Yummy! I'm so excited to devour this. Do you even have any food left? I have a schmidgen. <laughs> It takes so long to take pictures. It's okay, I'll eat some of yours. Never! Okay, so are we gonna watch the fall? We will. Now? In three minutes. Then you're gonna start another episode and another episode. I won't, I promise. You heard it here first, guys. Hold him to it. I'll let you know if he does or not. Because he usually says, ah, just one more episode, and then it's like a thousand. Anyways, if you enjoyed spending the day with me, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! See ya!